Hi, my name is Paul and today we're going to show you how you go about isolating a single colony from a bacterial plate and then performing a gram stain. A quick and easy technique that starts to allow you to work out what particular species you may have in front of you. To do this, you need a few items, namely a Bunsen burner, set to raging hot, not the safety flame, which doesn't actually achieve an awful lot. You need a loop, sterilised by passing it through the flame to ensure that nothing is on there that shouldn't be. Disposable ones obviously don't do that, they just melt. You need a bijou containing distilled water, a slide on which you have actually written something like, you know, a helpful one thing, bugs, to let you know which way is up, and of course your bacteria. Do make sure that when you are doing a gram stain you don't wear gloves as the, uh, well, you're playing with fire and that's a surefire way to have a bit of trouble. So to get yourself started, what you need to do is take your bijou of water, open it in a sterile manner, take a single drop into the loop, and with that loop, you apply it to the slide. Just tap it, and it will come off. Once that's on there, return to your colony, pick a single colony. You don't need an awful lot, just enough to get into the loop, and then you apply it to your water. Make sure you mix it really, really well. Doesn't matter if it's even, there's nothing neat, nothing fancy about this. You're just simply mixing it. Ensure you then flame your loop again to make sure you have no contamination. Now this needs to be dry. So two options, one incorrect and one a much better idea. The incorrect way is to wave it around. That just spreads bugs. Use your flame, pass the slide gently through the fire, test how hot it is on the back of your hand, and that will make sure you don't burn anything, including yourself, and keep doing that for a few seconds until it dries. You'll know it's dry when it goes completely opaque and there is no sign of water on the surface. Such as an example would be one like that. For the next step, you actually undertake the gram stain itself. And for that, you have these four reagents. I always line them up in order that I'm going to use them so I don't have to think about it. On the far left, you have crystal violet, followed by grams iodine, 95% ethanol, and saffronin O. To get started, just go for it. It's already in order, and you don't need to be spending too much time doing this. Simply, drown the microbiological area in the first one. Leave it on for a few seconds. 30 seconds is absolutely fine. You can leave it longer, but there is no real need to. This is a fast, quick, very rapid technique. Once it's been on there for a while, turn your tap on, get a good flow of water. To rinse it off, pour away, turn your slide upside down and wash. And you'll see the bacteria are now bright purple. The next thing you do then is apply Gram's iodine. It will go from purple to black almost instantly. Again, leave it on there for a few seconds, let it do its business. Just like with the uh, crystal violet, it doesn't need a long time. In fact, I think that's had more than enough already. So you tip that off, give it another rinse, and you'll see it is now black. Now the next step is a little bit more tricky. You need to wash out the excess dye, but not so much that you ruin your slime. So you carefully apply the ethanol, drain it and wash, check the colour. Is anything, any more colour washing out of the section? Don't be afraid to go back and add more if you need it. So you apply it, watch it, drain it, and wash it again. Check, is any colour draining out of it? You see how it's now gone a funky purple colour. That looks just about right. Finally, we go for the saffronin, which gives all the bugs a pretty pink colour if they have the appropriate coat. We drop that on. And this one is like the granddaddy of all stains. It needs a little bit longer to do its business. So give it about double what you would normally give your crystal violet or the Gram's iodine. Happy days.
I reckon that's enough. Wash that off. And there you have a completed gram stain. Now, to view this under a microscope, you do need to dry it off. If you have tissues, you can wipe the back. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then gently pass it through the flame just to dry it off. Do not turn your slide upside down to help it dry or you'll just burn the bacteria clean off. Take a few seconds to do that. Don't be afraid, you can give it a little bit of a flick to help it along. And when it's dry, you can then put it on the stage of your microscope and use your oil immersion or a cover slip if you so wish to examine and determine what is the morphology. Is it a coccus? Is it a rod? Is it something else in between? But most importantly, is it gram positive, purple, or gram negative, pink? That'll do.